the Lord is trying to refine you and make you like Christ. You ever wonder why you fit and have, go through a lot of temptations and face a lot of trials and um, different tribulations and stuff? Well, this is it. It says right here in James, it says in James chapter one, verse three, actually verse two, it says, my brother, and count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Count it all joy. Why did he say count it all joy? Because in order for us to become like Christ, we have to go through the fire. Brothers and sisters, you have to go through the fire. You have to go through the purging. God has to purge you to make you become more like Jesus. Um, it says right here in Romans 8, a lot of people know Romans 8, 28. But this is God, this is the Lord, this is his main goal in your life, to make you a, a spitting image of him walking on this earth. A woman of God, a man of God, a child of the Lord, walking here on earth when people see you they're looking at an example of Jesus, of love and kindness and boldness and uh, patience and meekness and, and complete dependence on God and heaven, all these things. It says right here in Romans 8, 28, a lot of people know this verse, but they don't know what it means and the verse after. It says right here, for we know, we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose. Don't stop there. Keep going. This is the reason why. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. So that way that so that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Why does all things work to good for why do all things work together for our good? It's a, it says right here in ver verse 30. Verse 29 that I just, I just read, he also per, um, for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, to the image of Jesus Christ, to be conformed to his image. That's why. And in order to do that, we have to go through the fire. You have to be purged. And that's what temptation, that's what trials and tribulation, that's what those things do, is it purges us. Let's go to the, um, let's go to the book of Psalm. It says in Psalm chapter 12, verse 6, it says right here, just like, just like fire, just like silver, when it's pure, when it's purged and it goes through the fire, it's pure. It says, it says right here in verse 6, the words of the Lord are pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. So the, the words of the Lord are pure, you see? Like like silver tried in the furnace. When silver is tried, when silver passes through the fire, it gets purified. Another verse we can go to. It says right here in Psalm chapter 66, verse 10. That's what it says right here. This is it, brothers. For you, O God, have tested us. You, O God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is in... You have refined us as silver is refined so that's what the that's what the lord comes to do is refine us so that way his good fruits because our nature as sinners as children of adam are are rooted and embedded with sins and embedded with filthiness and evil and selfish desires and pride and all this stuff but when the lord takes us through the fire when he takes us through the testing and all that of his holy spirit we come out like pure gold like pure silver like Jesus, full of patience and goodness and boldness and love and mercy and grace and humility. That's why we go through the fire. We have to go through the fire. Brothers and sisters, look at it like that. When you're going through temptation, when you're going through trials and all this stuff, look at it as God making you like Jesus. Because we read it already in Romans chapter 8, verse 28 and 29, that all of these things, everything, I believe this I believe this with my whole heart, that everything works out for the good. It doesn't matter whatever happens in my life. It doesn't matter what happens in your life. If you think from today on and you believe that verse, Romans 8, 28 and 29, that everything works out for the good, meaning everything, the way people speak to you, the way people treat you at work, the way people treat you, the way people treat you, the way people... What happens in your life, circumstances, money issue, health problems, whatever, is to make you become more holy and to make you become as example and more anointed and more um, 
more like the spitting image of Jesus Christ walking here in this world and pleasing to God, which is which helps us when we walk and look like Jesus. It helps us and it pleases the Lord. So you have to go through the fire for brothers and sisters. That's what the Lord wants. Go through the purging, go through the refining, but count it all joy, like it says in James, because that is producing a life pleasing to God inside of us and a love that only comes from above and a life that shows Jesus Christ in this world while we're living here now. In Jesus' name, go through the fire, accept it. God bless you. Amen.